All right, let's take a look at Active Directory versus Entree ID by first defining where did Active Directory come from. So Microsoft introduced Active Directory domain services in Windows 2000 to give organizations the ability to manage multiple on-premise infrastructure components and systems using a single identity per user system. So Entree ID takes this approach to the next level by providing organizations with an identity as a service, so IDAS solution, for all their apps across cloud and on-premise. Both versions are used widely today for identity management. After Directory is used for on-premise versions and Entre ID is just the cloud version of it. It's just fully managed already in the cloud. Uh, so you don't have to choose between them. It just depends on your use case. So let's also cover some Active Directory terminology because even though it's fully managed for you, uh, Entre ID, you still need to know all the components that go into Active Directory. The first is a domain. So a domain is an area of a network organized by a single authentication database. Uh, an Active Directory domain is a logical grouping of 80 objects on a network, okay? And the term domain is, is not unique to Active Directory. There are other directory services and they all have this concept of a domain. You have domain controllers, uh, short for DC. A domain controller is a server that authenticates user identities and authorizes their access to resources. If you do not have domain controllers, there's no way to interact with the actual directory. And when we say directory, just think of it as a database because that's kind of what it is. It's a database of uh, records for um, users and authentication. We have domain con uh, computer, uh, and it's not initialized as DC, but it, if it was, it'd be very confusing. This is a computer that is registered with a central authentication database a domain computer would be an AD object, okay? So what is an AD object? An AD object is the basic element of Active Directory, such as users, groups, printers, computers, and shared folders, because the idea is that we have these AD objects and we're going to organize them within our organization. We have group policy objects, so these are GPOs. This is a virtual collection of policy settings. It controls what AD objects you have access to. You have organizational units, OUs. These are a subdivision within Active Directory into which you can place user groups, computers, and other organizational units. OUs appear in a lot of um, identity access management systems. So this is not a term um, specialized for Active Directory, but it is one of the earliest ones that adopted it. Then you have the directory service itself. This is, uh, this is um, <laughs> a directory service, such as ADDS. So that's Active Directory Domain uh, Services. We're going to talk about that uh, coming up. But now it's been renamed as, uh, this one's old. That's why it threw me off. But this is now called Microsoft Entre Domain Services. And this provides the methods of storing uh, directory data and making this data available to network users and administrators. A directory service runs on a domain controller. So these are all the terms. Um, do your best to try to generally remember them. Uh, it depends on what exam you're taking, but some really care that you know them. Other ones, you'll, you don't even ever see any of these things. You just use Entre ID and the stuff is abstracted away. But there you go.